Hello, it is Mighty Max, and today we are back with another episode of Craft Block SMP. And today we are going to be doing a few things, but first things first, uh, we'll get to the off camera progress later. But first things first, my armor is kind of dead, but we don't really have that much XP, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna hop down to the blaze farm. Well, we are back. I just ate some dinner and uh, waited for the blazes to spawn while I ate, and then I killed them all, and now I'm level 43. And now what we're gonna go ahead and do is sell all these blaze rods, and then I can show some of the off-camera progress, at least. Alright, so, also, yeah, we've got this new Halloween NPC. Um, I think I already explained it in the last video, but yeah, if I didn't, then tell me in the comments and I'll explain it next video. But uh, anyways, Hobo Jimmy, um, this sh I think it's the good trade, because me and Alex were messing around with this and I wasn't sure if we fixed it, because we were messing around with the trades that this guy had. Oh yeah, they, these these uh, blaze rods are nowhere near as good as gold. <coughs> gold is amazing. Gold is how I've made most of my money, and I've never nerfed the miner dude. So, yeah. Yeah, we're not making much cash from this, are we? Wow, we're really not. Oh, we're gonna have one blaze rod left over. Yeah, I'm just gonna- you can have that for free. Hobo. Hobo, whatever your name is, Jimmy. Yeah, you can have that for free. Where's the nearest crafting table? Come on, this is craft block. There should be like a crafting table every two blocks. Oh yeah, I should probably get my kits. But uh, yeah, the kit spooky gives you five pump coins, but if you get like a week's worth of pump coins, I actually don't want this. But if you get a week's worth of pump coins, you can get a shulker box from that NPC over there. Just in case I didn't explain that before. Um, boom. No, no, you had to shift click it. And then you go boom. All right. Here, redstone. Wait, actually I'll buy something. What can I buy with six emeralds? I'll buy two repeaters. That's very useful. But um, anyways, let's jump down here so that we don't accidentally place blocks at spawn because that's illegal. Um, let's jump down here. Alright, so we've got some new- okay, well technically we're still on spawn, so I'm gonna leave spawn. And then we'll do that. <clears throat> ah, I can't talk. Um, so, yeah, we've got our shulker boxes. This is the one I was using for the public mining area. And then we've got these two. This is Woody. He's got all my wood. I took down the public tree farm because no one followed the rules. So yeah, that kind of is non-existent. And then we've got capitalism, which is literally all of my money. And now we've got even more. So this is, that's 18 stacks right there, nine enchanted crystals. And I sold a bunch of gold that I forgot to smelt, or I did smelt and never sold. I don't know, something like that. But yeah, I had them just sitting in my inventory for a while, so I just sold those. But, um, yeah, so that's all of the money we own. Watch the, like, slash kill all items thing roll out when I've got that on the floor. That would be funny. No, it wouldn't. Well, it, it would, but it wouldn't be that funny. But, um, anyways, yeah. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just get a full new set of gear. And I also need to check if I have leather, because I think that's how you repair the elytra. Do you even have mending? Do I even have mending? <laughs> I think that's the real question. I think the real question is do I even have mending? The answer is probably not. Which is why we're going to be doing the second thing we're doing this episode. Um, efficiency, unbreaking 2, protection 3, unbreaking 3, we'll take that. Um, efficiency, no we're not making pickaxes. Knockback 2, unbreaking 3. I'm just taking any decent bucks for armor. Because we don't really need a weapon or tools right now. We can get those later. Uh, Feather Falling Fort. Ugh, Depth Strider 2. We don't want that. We want... Uh, not Depth Strider 2. Um, I don't have any good books over here. Uh, Projectile Protection. Curse of Binding. Fire Ass. Ooh, Depth... That's good. We want that. Uh, do 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 do. None of you are good. Oh, well we've got perfect boots right here, so I guess we'll take that. Oh, we don't need to make boots. Oh, we've got perfect pants, too. That's nice. Um, yeah, the end, the end cities are really amazing. Oh yeah, the fishing rods. I forgot those existed. Do we have any perfect armor here? Uh, we could add protection to them, and then that would be good. 
Um, I don't want to mess with thorns because thorns is thorns equals expensive. Um, that's not good. Okay, where are the bucks? I could swear I saw a stack of bucks somewhere. There they are. Yeah, that's why we need the storage quadrant. That's why that's coming before the transportation quadrant. Like, it would make sense, kind of, to do the... The... Did I? Okay, I took the lapis. Alright. That's a lot of lapis. We're gonna put most of this in here. Why do we have this? Wait, these don't stack? Seriously? I could swear the totem stacked. Oh, we've got two leather here. Do we have an anvil? I mean, we may as well. Well, no, it would make more sense to wait. I'm all over the place right now. Um, sorry. Uh, we'll probably go kill some cows. Alright, so we've got perfect pants and perfect boots, I think. Right? Alright, we need a protection buck. Alright, let's see. Protection. That's not the right type of protection. Um, yeah, we probably should make some, make some, make some armor armors so we need a protection book for the helmet and then we just could do a chest plate this actually isn't gonna be that hard all right so if we don't get a good enchant on the chest plate i guess i'll go for i'll go for these pickaxes which also came with mine giveaway all right protection four perfect please unbreaking Ooh, that's actually good that's actually really good we could get we could bump that up to thorns three if we want uh infinity uh, I'll go for it. That's an interesting combination. Efficiency 3, no thanks. Um, efficiency 4, that's a good pickaxe right there. Alright, what are we gonna get? Feather falling. I don't want feather falling. Alright, we'll just, uh, um, just burn a book. Like, yeah, we just, yeah. Fire, ah! You know, um, yeah, we're gonna burn another buck. Um, punch, punch, punch one. You're joking, right? Efficiency. Um, protection three. No. What do you even need? I mean, I guess, all right. Well, now it's probably gonna be something else. All right, we can burn one more buck. All right, boom. And then this better be, that's power four. Ah. That's annoying. Well, um, do we have a protection helmet that we could combine it with? Hold on, let's put that away for now. Do we have a protection buck we can combine? Oh yeah, we need to add depth strider to the boots. Yeah. Um, efficiency. Do we have any protection four bucks? I don't think we do. I think we've got plenty of protection three bucks, but like, wait, do we? Do we have protection three bucks? Yeah, okay, I guess we'll just get protection three on the helmet. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, okay. Okay, fine, just be like that. You know what? We don't need your stinking protection anyway. Yeah. Well, we've got perfect boots now, so how do you feel about that? They've even got mending. And then we've got, we've got perfect pants too, basically. Can we add feather falling to this? I mean, if we can, I will. Oh, wow, well, you can. Hmm. All right, well, those are just the god boots now. Yeah, these these are actually just god. They're god boots. Yeah, they're just god boots. Did that cost four levels to name it? You know what? I think this is regged. Um. Oh yeah, I found this god pickaxe in all the in one of the end shulker boxes. And that's amazing. I forgot we had that. Um. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna save the last few levels that we could, uh... Well, first we're gonna get some leather. Um... And then we will go ahead and repair the elytra. I forget how much leather exactly you need. But it's probably at least ten. I'd think. That was... that was a joke. Of course it's at least ten. It's leather, right? Wait, does this have looting? Yeah, it probably does. I'm, I'm too lazy to look. Oh, the server lag's annoying. How much, how much are we... Seriously, we killed this many cows and we've got nine leather? Okay, 15. That's probably enough for now. Alright, um, the question is, how do we get out of here? Oh yeah, we've got these ender pearls. Thanks, Alan. You're a cool dude. 
Oh, it's just... Oh, yeah, I moved most of the, um, the stuff over to here. So now we've actually got, like, decent storage. Yeah, see? This is... That's the miscellaneous chest. It, the rest of it's actually organized. But, um, yeah, we can actually start removing some of the temporary chests from over... Oh, well, we already removed that one, but we can remove these later. I need to breed up more cows, actually. Oh, hey, we just, like, refilled on food. Alright, let's go back upstairs and heal up this elytra. Hopefully ten levels is enough. Probably will be. And then I think I'll clean out that upstairs chest real quickly, and then we can move on to the second part of this episode. I know, it's a two-in-one deal. So spooky. Alright, yeah. Alright, so I forget how much leather that cost. Probably would have been something smart to write down. Probably would have been smart to write that down. Blah, I can't talk. Um, actually, we could probably just... Can we? Well, we don't have any XP now. Um, wait, you can repair this stuff without XP, right? No. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, alright, let's just go put this broken gear on an armor stand for now. That's why I kind of made them and put them downstairs, so we could just put some old gear there. If we ever want to, like, look at the old gear we had, or whatever. Okay, well, you know what? I, I want to put you here. Oh, this armor's bad. Yeah, this armor's pretty bad. Wait, why didn't I even make a chest plate if I'm gonna be wearing an elytra? Alright, well, we've got the perfect pants. Uh, I don't want to wear a helmet without protection. So I'll keep that boy for now. We'll keep the student in our inventory, though. And then I'll keep that guy out because I feel like we could get Thorns 3 on him and then have him be a god chest plate. Like, these are... The god boots and almost god pants. Like, if we had blast or projectile protection, then they'd be god. Um, yeah. I think we should be good. Alright, I'll craft these back up. Do we not? We don't have a crafting table down here, of course. Oh boy. Um, alright, so let's craft these boys back up into diamond blocks, and then we'll just uh, throw you. We don't have room to throw you there. Um, we'll put you. Okay. Uh, we don't need two repeaters. Wait, no, we actually don't need that. Um... Uh, it's so clustered and stuff. Uh, do we have... We've got, um... Uh, I did, um, Alright, we've got weapons and tools. Alright, I think we're good. To start project number two. And there's a reason, there's another reason besides people not following rules that I took down that tree farm. I also need a lot of wood quickly. And I'm also probably going to go deforest a dark oak forest because I need dark oak and spruce wood too. Um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building an automatic fishing farm. Because there's the fishing NPC and he's got some pretty OP rods. And you can combine his rods to get like literally perfect rods. So yeah, it's rods. Lots of rods. Um... Any good books here? I already looked at these, but yeah. And I'm gonna build like a little fishing hut with lily pads and happiness and a dock and stuff. So it looks like an actual place where you'd go to fish, but it's like not, cause like it's actually a hardcore farm, you know? That sort of deal. I'm just grabbing some decorative blocks, various decorative blocks from here that I could steal. Um. Where's, like, the lily pads? There they are. Alright. So, I'm gonna probably... Oh, that was... That was a fabulous sound effect right there. Someone needs to make a soundboard of my voice. Please. Please do that. Um... We're not gonna take an item frame, because it's a singular item frame. I will take some furnaces. Furnaces look good. Oh, we've got Malohi. I didn't even know that. I love Malohi. It's not my favorite, but it's one of the good ones. Uh, Chirp is my favorite. Not, it's just so good. I think it was actually one... Well, no. It might have been. It was one of the first ones I heard from Snake on Mindplex. That minigame used to be fire. Now it's just lag. But, um... Yeah, I'm probably gonna hop on Mindplex eventually to do that. The Halloween minigames. Because I've been playing that every year since it came out. Like, the Halloween Horror. That game is actually great. And Christmas Chaos. Those two are, like, poppin' games. Like, not even joking. Um, I was looking for saplings, wasn't I? I was gonna put them all in the wood chest. Um, 
You know, let's call this the wood and things that look wood and plant-like and furniture and pump coin box. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't see them there, so it doesn't look bad. All right. I've got rockets on me, right? Yeah, I've got I've got enchanted rockets. This is why we need an industrial sugar cane. Okay, you know what? Why do you not like why do you not work there? For a second I thought someone destroyed my bruises again. I was about to get really angry. All right, we launched off here. Uh, I forget which direction the spruce for oh, which way is it? <laughs> Which way is the spruce forest, huh? I don't remember. I've got the map over here somewhere. Hold on, we'll launch myself up into the sky and I'll quickly look at the map. Um... Spruce is down that way, okay. Alright, I know where to go for the spruce thing. Also, there's a huge dungeon over here. But, you pro- Okay, you know what? Why do you guys not follow the rules? You know, I put specific rules on Discord, and then people say, oh, you know what, I'm gonna break blocks. Cause, yeah. Okay, you know what, um... Well, in order to get credit for beating the dungeon, because the rewards aren't inside of it, you have to show recorded proof. But if they broke, if the people that recorded it, I think Alex and Matt have done it so far, but if it shows them breaking it in the recording, I'll have to, like, take off slightly from their rewards. Because they broke the rules even though they beat it. But anyways, yeah. We're heading over to the spruce place. It's near New Craft Block, yeah. Kind of, I think. No, wait, it's over here, isn't it? It's like right over this way. I think this is a different spruce place. No, wait, wait. We need like an actual... Oh yeah, I set up some chests over here for a thing I'm going to build soon. It's a new project. Is it here? Yeah, I set up a beacon and some chests. That's a project we're going to work on soon. And by soon, I mean, like, probably in a month, because uploading with school and stuff and band is fun. Oh yeah, speaking of band, I totally didn't plan out the fishing hut thing during band practice. No, that would be crazy. And against the rules, and I would probably get in trouble if someone found that out. But I didn't do that. I, it, it was, that was just a prank. I didn't actually do that. You just got... Uh, social experimented. How does it feel? Also, don't do deforestation in real life, it's not good. Only do it in games, where you can destroy trees in two seconds with an axe made out of diamonds. Because that logically makes perfect sense. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna continue this deforestation, and then when I've got like stacks on stacks of wood, I'll be right back. That was some weird sentence structure, but oh well. I think I'm gonna do it right here. Like if we terraform this a little, break out all the ugly flowers and grass and cover up this weird lake thing, I think it could be good. And we just happen to have a decent shovel. So yeah, we're gonna get to work on that. All right, so I've set up my chest, cleared out some land, and I've started the basic dock. Basically, huh, yeah, um, Basically, the plan is we're going to have a bit of a dock, some uh, just exterior decoration type stuff. And then on the inside, it's going to look like a small little cottage house uh, hut type thing. And on the inside, it's going to be like the automatic fishing farm all concealed in and super tight. And we might actually add the thing. I forget what it's called, but it's I didn't invent it. It's some crazy redstone genius did. I forget the name, but we'll look it up. I'll probably put it in the, in the description if we get to it this episode. But we might put this thing where it, like, loads up the items in shulker boxes and then stores those. Because auto fish farms get a lot of items. So, yeah. Um, oh, the moon's rising over our dock. That's great. And the auto fish farm plus the rabbit's foot is going to be overpowered. So, yeah. Alright, I'm going to continue this dock. And then I'll be back in a second with a progress update. Alright, so we've got the basic frame right here. I extended out the dock a little bit. We've got a crafting table on the floor as always. A bit of a gate here. I always put crafting tables in the floor. Right here we're going to have some grey glass. We've got the uh, stone brick uh, trim, I guess you could call it. It's going to be wood plank, or wood plank roofing around the stone brick. I don't know what type yet, so I'll have to decide. 
We've got the door. We've got the dark oak flooring, which is why I collected some of that. Over here, it's going to be some form of fireplace or something. And over here, we'll have the automatic fish farm. And then Rocky is here for what, whatever reason. Um, so yeah, we've got the basic frame. And yeah, I think I'm just going to keep on working. Um, I think we're going to have white glass there. Well, no, we might try the gray glass because I think the gray glass would look bad with the... Because it would probably blend in with this arch type thingy here. But over there, it wouldn't be... Over there it would look cool because it's like ground level and gray glass would look cool. But then again, white glass probably would stand out too much. I don't know. Maybe we'll go for light gray glass here and gray grass... Gray grass? Gray glass. Over here. Um, yeah, we'll get to the interior decorating later, obviously. Right now we're just getting the framework done. And then, yeah. So, yeah, I'm gonna keep on working on it. I'm only gonna have a half hour more work for today. And then I'll probably, because it's Monday right now, and I've got banned, like, basically all day Tuesday. Well, not all day, but after school. But, um, Wednesday I'll probably finish this up with the automatic fish farm. That should, shouldn't take more than a half an hour to build. And then we'll edit it, and then it should be uploaded by Thursday or Friday. So, yeah. Yeah, that seems good. I don't know why I'm explaining my editing and uploading process on camera. But yeah, so anyways, see you in a second. Alright, so sadly I'm going to have to log off for tonight, but we did get a significant amount of progress done today. So yeah, as you can see, we've got the outside pretty much done. We've got all the glass in. We've got all this looking seamless. We've got the roof done. It's pretty good. And then we come inside, we've got a cauldron. If we hop up here... Oh. If we hop... I was doing this perfectly a minute ago. If we hop up here, we've got some furnaces. The window, and I'm gonna make a bed out of like carpets and snow slab blocks here. Because those always look cool. And then we've got the furnace, but I kind of ran out of clay, so that's not finished. And then we've got Rocky over here, and ooh, I need to patch that up. I forgot about that hole. But um, yeah, so that's what we've got done so far. It looks not that terrible. I think we can destroy the scaffolding now. Um, I'm curious about how it looks from my house. Holy cow. Um, let's see how this looks from like... Let's see how it looks from the upstairs area. Or even better, from the roof. Um, why does my elytra not work when I jump off of slabs? Is that like a new meme now? There we go. Okay. Alright, yeah, this looks pretty good. The only thing is that roof is a bit oofed. And that's because I uh, didn't look at the world that I pre-built this in while I was building this. I kind of just built it from memory. So that's why I've kind of got that weird roof up there. I guess I could, I could put down wooden slabs to fix that. Yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? Yeah, I should try that. Well, no, that would look weird. Maybe. I'll see how it looks off camera. But anyways, yeah, that's some good progress for this part in the episode. This isn't the end of the episode, I'm just gonna continue this at a different date. But yeah, so that's the end of today's work, and I'm going to be back in a second for you and a few days for me. So yeah, catch you then. Alright, so we are back after two more long days of school. And anyways, we are going to start working on the farm. So anyways, I've got the design for this up on my other screen. I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a pretty good design from what other people have said. But um, yeah, we've got the... Uh, chest and hopper here so I believe it's gonna be one block here one block here and then the water will go somewhere here and then there will be the trap door and that sort of machinery here this is gonna be going up to against the wall here the machinery um and then yeah we'll stand like right about here for fishing rod and then it will just be afk and chill and I still need to patch that up also I tried to fix the roof by making it not 200% stone brick up at that middle section there, but it looked ugly. But you really only see the top if you're flying on an elytra anyway. 
So this, this actually looks fine. Also that server lag though. But yeah, this looks fine from the ground, which is really what matters. Plus, I don't think anyone else cares if my stuff looks ugly. I mean, comparatively, this is a lot better looking than that. So yeah. But um, anyways, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and build this. Um, I'll probably do it on camera, but it'll just be like a speed meme thing. Because I'll be like looking back and forth at the video and such and stuff. I need a stare. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, I'm going to start working on that and I'll be back in a second. Do you hear that? That's the sound of fish. Now, I don't know if this is working yet, but it should. It should be working. Also, that's like some fire chromatics right there. Oh, I think I just got a fish. What's happening now? Did I just get some fish? I think I just got like three fish in a row. Not sure. Alright, so I'm gonna keep waiting a few seconds and then we'll go check. And this will be a good uh, time to show off what I've done. I decided not to do the stalker thing because it's just too big and complicated. So I've just got a default basic storage system type thing. But yeah, we could kind of just sit here forever, and I used my little F3 trick on Mac to get the auto clicking to work. Right now I'm just chilling here, I'm not, I've, I don't even have hands on the keyboard. Like here, I'll touch my microphone in 3, 2, 1, headphone users beware. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, my hands just slapped my microphone, I don't even know what that's going to sound like. Alright, so I'm a bit scared because this isn't losing durability. But I got XP. Alright, so if I did the hoppers right, this should go... We got a fish. We got a... Oh. Who's not behaving? I 
think that means I didn't want the hoppers. Ah, I hate elytras. Actually, I'm at a point where I'm taking elytras off. Because they're annoying. Um... Did we just get really unlucky? I think it's because of the delay we have, because I did give it like a big delay. But you know, one fish shows that it works, and we're not using the rabbit's foot yet. So when we use the rabbit's foot, which I may as well do right now, we're basically... Actually, I haven't tested this with the rabbit's foot yet. But, I mean, there's no reason why it shouldn't work. Alright, let's find the sweet spot. I don't know how these things work very much. Well, I do, but I haven't used them in a while. Where's the sweet spot? Isn't that, that, that should be the sweet spot right there. Is it because it's in the off hand? Here, I'll try and find it on my main hand. Is it where I'm standing? What was I doing before? Oh. There we go. Okay. Alright, now I'm going to do the F3 meme. Why did it stop? I think it's because it's in my offhand. Hold on. No. Why is it not working when I'm recording? Oh, there we go. Okay, we got it working. So now, I'm going to sit here for a while. And I've got literally no way to stop the recording. Because I didn't set up the keybinds or whatever. Oh, that's a lily pad, which is a treasure, which means that the rabbit's foot is functioning. The question is, will my hoppers work? Alright, we saw the lily pad, so if the lily pad's not on the bottom chest, that means my hoppers are bad, and I can't place blocks in a block game. 11 out of 10. Um, so yeah, this is very musical, and I like it. And I'm totally gonna AFK it, like, every band practice. I'm gonna become, like, Alex level OP in two seconds. I don't think, um, anyone else who has an AFK fish farm has figured out that the rabbit's foot works with it yet. So, um, if you're Matt watching this, uh, hi. And, um, yeah, this strategy is good. <laughs> yeah, I got the fish farm idea from him because he did build one before me. But then I realized that the rabbit's foot meme was a thing. So that, that's a spicy meme. But, uh, anyways. Yeah, I'm just gonna sit here listening to this, because I like it. I, oh, what if we could... Oh, I want to change the block. What is the piano? No, this is piano. Um, what was... They had flute, right? I was really disappointed that they didn't have brass instruments. Like, I was like... Because I play mellophone and French horn. So it's like... Rip. <laughs> but they've got flutes. That's like the closest thing, I guess. I mean, not really. It's not close, but it's the closest. And it would probably sound nice to have something other than the generic piano thing. Whatever this would be called. It's so robotic. But, um... Yeah. Alright, next thing we get. Alright, right there. Okay. Alright. Oh, and this lost durability, which definitely means it's working. Alright, let's go see. We should have like two or three lily pads. I got scared for a second. Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. <coughs> oh yeah, this is spicy. This is a spicy meme right here. Oh yeah, that's spicy. And what I might eventually do is get a filtering system so that just lets everything through except fish. I don't know if you can do that. Or maybe I'll do a thing where it only lets fish through, through a hopper, and then it gets rid of the fish, and then everything else isn't a fish, so it will go by. It's kind of like the opposite of the idea I had, but it would work. Like, instead of making it so that everything but fish go through, I would make an area that only fish could go through, and then the fish would die, because fish suck, 
and I've got like infinite of anything food related except crops because I'm too lazy to finish the farming quadrant but we don't talk about that I'll finish that eventually I kind of need infinite sea lanterns before I can though and redstone and quartz and you know what quartz is hard to get you can't make a farm for quartz which is why I don't like it you can't farm iron either, and those are like the two industrial, modern, white-looking blocks. I guess I could use white concrete, but that's even harder to get than iron and quartz. Because you have to get the concrete powder, and you can't farm... It's like dirt, sand, and bone meal or something like that. And I don't think you... You can't farm those. Well, you can farm bone meal, but you have to craft it from bones, and that's just a whole world of fun. And then you've got to put it next to water, like... I think Il Mango did like a thing where it's like a super concrete water watering machine. Well, that's too complicated. Like, I just want to get my mending books from the fish, the fish machines. I don't want 64,000 concrete per hour or whatever that crazy thing was. It's ridiculously crazy, but it's overpowered and cool. But, um... I need to patch that up, too. I don't see why I didn't do that first. Like, that's the easy thing. Do I have any... Oh, I used all the oak wood on sticks and stones and bones. What am I even saying at this point? Let's use slabs, because I've got lots of slabs. And I didn't mean to craft so many slabs. Um, this should be enough. Slab. Slabular. Oh, yeah, I kind of made an oof right here. So eventually I'll move all this over, but probably not because I'm lazy. But if I if I say that I'll eventually move it over, I probably won't get yelled at. So yeah, that's logic right there. Um, so yeah, this looks like a spicy meme. Uh, where could we put some torches where it wouldn't look horrific? Oh yeah, I did the chimney too. I just need to get some cobwebs and glass and stuff to do for like the glass and whatever. Also, I'll make this look pretty at some point, maybe. And yeah, I kind of didn't... I, I just... I kind of built this in the wrong place, basically. But, um... Where should these torches go? I don't know. We'll put them, like... We'll put one boy, like, right there. That's a good boy place. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll have, like... A boy somewhere here... No, I don't like that. We'll have... We can't put one there. And we can't put one there, because that would look bad. Let's put one there. That's a... That looks ugly. That looks actually horrific. Um... Hmm. Yeah, we'll just put... I mean, like, eh. Nah, that doesn't look too bad. We'll put that there. Yeah, that looks fine. Alright, yeah, so it looks decent for now, at least. Um, let me just shove all this gar garbanzo garbage back in my redstone box. Oh, I've got garbage everywhere. Uh, let's just put all this stuff back where it belongs. Oh, wait. String belongs in here. I'm so glad I found, like, a stack of string. I don't know. I didn't know that. I, I, bleh, I didn't know that I had that, but... Apparently I did, so yeah, cool beans. Alright, we've got our shulker boxes. Boom. Cool. And that that's kind of just the trash. We'll keep that there for now, because we're technically not done with this. But we are at the same time. Where the heck are the lily pads? They're in here. No, nope, get back here. You can't escape. Oh yeah, I need to put some boats down too. For like that visual effect visual effect. Um, that's too many. I, I was, I was like, wait, that's probably going to be too many right after I hit shift click. So yeah. Um, all right. Today on, can I place lily pads in a way that looks natural? My biggest weakness in building is making stuff look natural, which is really great because considering my Pixelmon map is like 99% outside world and like 10% town, industrial, non-nature stuff. So, in other words, I'm having an oof time. Or not an oof time, it's just like, it takes a lot of time to make something that looks...
decent. Also, I swear if I drown. Can you use elytras underwater? You know, I don't feel like testing that theory. Ooh, putting these from underwater could be like a good meme. Like, I want to see. Well, we couldn't put them underwater, but we could like see how they look from underwater. So we don't have to like fly up. Alright, I'm thinking for boats, we could have like a boat there. And like a boat there. I don't know, that looks decent, I guess, maybe. Boat there. Uh, lily pads. I'm gonna do some, a lot of underwater builds here, I think. No, bad. But the lily pads are only gonna be in this area because it's like, you know, like a little fishing hut type meme. It's a, it's a good meme, I think. It should be a good meme when it's done. But I'm not entirely sure if this will... Okay, I didn't want to put you there, bucko. You know what, you just move. You're ugly. No one likes you. Um, you can move too. Why are you all clustered up? I could swear I put these dudes not in the same world. Uh, and then we'll just make the lily pads rarer. Nope, rarer. As we get out. So there will be fewer and fewer. And then eventually there will just be none. Alright, yeah. That should be a good meme. That used a lot of lily pads. Well, luckily we've got basically infinite now. Because of the, the fishing thing. And my elytra did the bad thing again. This is why you don't swim if you're elytras, kids. And before Mitch or Storm or Matt comes and drives the boats around here and destroys all the frickin' lily pads. Honestly, I'm calling it. Or actually, anyone except Alan would do that. Because Alan would just be like paying other people to do it. <laughs> but uh, please don't kill my lily pads or else I'll uh, ban you from my my uh, good Christian Minecraft server. Alright, um, lily pads can go back in there. Um, but boats. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad. I mean, it could use some touching up. I think I put way too many boats. But I think it's decent Jish. But, um, yeah, anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode. I'll put on my chest. Actually, no, I don't want to put on that chest plate. Have these things seriously not taken damage? That's because they're so good. The helmet's just bad, but, um... Any- okay, no, that's not what we want to do. I, I just want to do an outro. But no, you're just like, Yeah, I'm gonna fly into the water so that you can't do an outro. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Why does the Elytra have a weird, edgy teenager voice? I don't know. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, I'm going to close the door for the outro because that just looks like the house is on fire. All right. I'm going to get a cinematic position. Hold on. No, I want to move this way, but I want to be facing too much. And boom. All right. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more quality content quality with quotes but um anyways yeah craft blocks gonna be doing good we're gonna have the uh the pixelmon 151 the pixelmon harmony and that's gonna be it for i think a decent amount of time just those three unless out of the blue i get inspired and decide to do something else so i doubt that'll happen though i've got a lot of busy time Luckily, marching band ends soon, though, so I think I might actually have, like, time to record, so I don't have to get up at 4 a.m. So, yeah, well, no, I don't get up at 4 a.m. to record. I do my recording at night, and then I get up at 4 a.m. to do homework, but, you know, that's life for you. But, um, yeah, um, enough of life tips with Max. I always get sidetracked at the end of the video. Jack wants me to not sidetrack. Um, Pixelmon Topaz, going good. I said, like, if it doesn't come out in three weeks, just assume that I'm dead. Probably more than three weeks ago. But that's because I'm really bad at making time, timing guesses. I don't know how to word that good. Um, 
Yeah, that's about it for the news. I should start doing the news at the beginning of videos instead of at the end because most people stop watching by now. But yeah, anyways, see you all next time. Do 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 do.